Now that the National Hockey League is back, I figured I would do a National Hockey League rant, which I do from time to time. I have a few ideas, things I would like to see the National Hockey League do. First of all, they've been talking about changing around some of the divisions. So things are a little better geographically lined up. What I think they should do with this is move Winnipeg to the Northwest Division. That way Winnipeg would be in there with the other Canadian teams from Calgary, Edmonton, and Vancouver. And if you look at a map, Winnipeg is directly above Minnesota, who is also in the Northwest Division. That means the Colorado Avalanche would have to move to the Pacific Division. And the Dallas Stars would have to move to the Central Division. This would work well for Dallas because they are in the same time zone as a lot of the other Central Division teams. They're not out in the same time zone as the teams in the Pacific Division. And the Nashville Predators would have to move to the uh, Southeast Division where Winnipeg was. Now I have an idea for the schedule also. What I think should happen is they should take the schedule and on an 82 game schedule you should play the five other divisions that your team is not in two times per year. That would be one at home and one on the road. Uh, that would be a total of playing 25 teams twice. That's a total of 50 games. And then the teams that are in your division, if you wanted to go with an 82 game schedule, you would play them eight times. Four home and four away. If you want to go with a 78 game schedule, then you would play them seven times. Two of the teams would be four home, three away. The other two would be three home, four away. If you wanted to go to a 74-game schedule, you would play them three home and three away for a total of six. Now, has anybody ever noticed that on almost every year, the trade deadline usually falls in or around game number 58? Well, I have. Now, there are 30 teams in the National Hockey League. That means your team plays 29 other teams. I've already mentioned that you would play the teams that are not in your division, the other five divisions, or 25 other teams twice. But think about this. If you played all 29 teams, that would be the other divisions and your division, twice before the trade deadline, it would fall right at game number 58, like it does every year. 29 times 2 is 58. And before the trade deadline, you will have played a completely balanced schedule. And then after the trade deadline, then you would play the remaining six games against the other four teams in your division. If this happens, no team would be out of it. Think about this. Okay, let's say the New York Rangers are in first place, and they're doing well. So they really don't need to make any trades. The Pittsburgh Penguins are ten points behind them. And Pittsburgh's like, uh-oh, we're fading fast. We better revamp this team. So they go out and they make some brilliant deals on the trade deadline day. And then in the six remaining games against the Rangers, Pittsburgh goes 
six and zero. They've just turned a ten point deficit into a two point lead. So no team would be out of it. This would spark a lot more fan interest. And for those fans that don't want an 82-game schedule, as I had mentioned earlier, you could do it on a 78 or a 74 by playing the teams in your own division either seven times or six times. You could probably adapt the schedule to a 76 or 80-game schedule. It would just take a little more tweaking to do it. Now, the shootout. I would like to see the shootout have a name attached to the game-winning goal. You see, right now, you win the shootout and you get this generic goal, which doesn't have a name attached to it. So what I think they should do is, let's say um, the New York Islanders are playing Washington, and the Islanders win the shootout three goals to one. That means whoever scored the second shootout goal, that player would get credited with a game-winning goal. Now, a lot of fans are going to say, wait a minute. That's a cheap goal. That's not really a goal. That's a shootout. I don't want that included in the goal totals. Well, you don't have to include it in the goal totals. What you do in the goal scoring totals is you add on a fourth column. First column is goals. Second column is assists. Third column is points. Fourth column is shootout winners. And the shootout winners would not be included as a goal or a point. The only time the shootout winner column would come into play is if you had two guys that were tied for the Art Ross Trophy, which is for the leading point getter, and their goals were the same, and their assists were the same, and their points were the same. That column could be used as a tiebreaker. Doesn't have to be a first tiebreaker, just a tiebreaker. The third round of the playoffs is something I would also like to see changed. I think that they should leave the first round of the playoffs and the second round of the playoffs the way it is. But the third round of the playoffs, instead of having the two teams that are remaining in the West playing each other and the two teams that are remaining in the East playing each other, Seed the teams 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 plays 4, 2 plays 3. This way, you could have two teams that are from the same conference, or the same division, or even the same city, playing each other for the Stanley Cup. Now that would spark a lot of interest. Let me know what you think about my ideas. If you don't like them, go ahead and put that down there. But put a reason why. You don't like them. Don't just say they stink. Tell me why you think those ideas stink. This is just my opinion. I also want to hear yours. And as usual, thank you for allowing me to bore you and have a wonderful day. Good night and good hockey.